Hello everyone. Today we are going to model the Lotka Volterra equation for population dynamics of a prey predator model. Considering the equations, this basically means that how the prey population and the predator population changes with time. So let let x be the number of mouse in a particular area, and we want to look at how the rate of uh, how the number of mouses changes with time. So there is an increase in the number of mouses with a constant alpha and a decrease in the number of mouses as a function of a constant beta as well as a function of the number of cat in that area. So the more the cat, the more the mouse are being consumed. So this is the dynamical equation for the number of cats over time and this is for the mouse. You, you can see that there is a factor delta and as well as xy. So more the number of cats, um, sorry, more the number of mouses in that area, more will be the population of cats since they will be consuming more and more mouse. And uh, a gamma times y number of cats is removed from the uh, population. So this is all about the dynamics, uh, dynamical equation for the uh, cat as well as mouse. So here say x is that number of prey, prey means mouse and y is the number of some predator means cat and these are the rate of change of population over time and t represent time alpha beta gamma delta are corresponding corresponding constants that determine the population dynamics or the interaction between two species here the species are cat and mouse now let's look at the model so we are using the desolve package desolve package is used for solving differential equations numerically and uh, so the input functions are time up to what time we want to simulate the dynamics of this uh, pre predator model and state means the initial conditions that we are going to give as well as the parameters uh, what are things we should give as parameters let's look at in the following part so first of all writing the function with as dot list and you should include the state as well as the parameters and uh, here is the place where you should include the differential equation for uh, the prey and predator so we can see alpha x times alpha minus beta times x times y and here minus gamma times y minus delta x y so this is all about the differential equation we want to list means we want to get the result as a list that is c of dx dy so for all the time the list will be returned and we will get that as the output let us see that so executing this file first of all let us check the alpha, alpha value with 2 beta value with 0 0.4 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 and uh, my state means that initial population I have initially 5 rats and fi 5 rats and 5 cats so by 5 rats and 5 cats I am initializing the time as uh, 0 to 100 with an increment of 1 and uh, so this is one of the uh, particular feature with um, de solve so you should write this as as dot data dot frame you will get that as a data frame and uh, this ODE solution will be uh, executed here that is ODE the function the name of the function should be here so our function is uh, Lotka Volta model LOTB MOD and Y is the state. State means the initial number of uh, rats and cats as well as the parameters. We represent it as PARMS, PARS and the times. So all these parameters should be initialized in the ODE part and we are uh, returning it as a data frame. Okay, executing that. So this is about the plotting of that thing. So about our out function, we are now plotting it and giving the legend here you can see there is an oscillatory behavior in the number of cat and number of mouse in that area i will explain in detail first the all the cats start consuming the mouse as a result the mouse population declined and the cat population increased but since the mouse population was very low the remaining cats started to starve and they start dying and as the num number of cats uh, reduced to a particular limit 
since there is no more much predators like cats the rat population again had a hike as it is increased the all the cats got more and more food and they also started increasing so this oscillatory behavior is actually the change or the fluctuation in the number of cats and the rats uh, in that population or cat and mouse in that population so this is all about uh, that particular set of parameters now let's change the parameters alpha equals 0 0.04 and uh, let's execute it execute and what the it will out so here you can see when we change the value to some other constants uh, the number of cats initially increase as a result of eating more and more mouses but as the number of mouses reached a critical value there were no more cats available so the cats started starving beyond an extent so they all died since there is no predator the mouse population started to increase in this case uh, then all of the cats died due to the lack of uh, mouse at a particular instant so this is uh, the first part is having an oscillatory behavior then all the cats have been died then the mouse will exponentially grow in the absence of predators all prey or all organisms live uh, or multiply in an exponential fashion until the resources are limited okay now let's change the parameters again and state function here you can see the all the mouse have been suddenly uh, reduced due to the consumption or some other factors since there are two factors one one um, one by consumption and uh, the rate of increase has been reduced for the cats um, for the mouse and uh, the rate of consumption of these mouse has been increased as a result the mouse population su suddenly declined and uh, you can see the cat population is also declining with time so these are the some of the features associated with uh, Lotka Voltra model. This is one of the basic uh, population dynamical model which uses coupled set of differential equations. Thank you.